All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and talk about this fight. Mackenzie Dern versus Kaylee Medeiros. Um, you know what? This is a step up of opponent for Mackenzie Dern. It, it's, it's still, you know, people, a lot of people going around saying, yeah, she fought a tough opponent. She fought a better opponent. She fought a very good opponent. You know, listen, when you guys, you really got to be observant. And this is not me saying, you know, Mackenzie Dern didn't do anything. Because I like, and guys, y'all please get this. I like what Mackenzie Dern's team is doing with her. I like the fact that they are bringing this girl along slowly. And every, every, every fight, they're increasing, they're increasing the talent level of the fighter that she has to fight. So I like it. Because, you know, don't hype this girl up too far. Don't hype her up. Don't do a bunch of stuff. Don't stick her in there, you know, with the likes of, of, of your Nico Montanos and, and your Valentinas and your Joannas. Don't stick her in there with those girls yet because because you know what? It's going to be instant, you know, destruction. But Mackenzie Dern is, she's growing, okay? I'm still not sold just yet because, you know, when Invicta, when they tell you that they added a fight, then you know that means usually one of the fighters didn't get a full training camp. Now, I want you guys to guess which fighter didn't get a full training camp. I, I, I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of see if you can figure it out, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Mackenzie Dern couldn't have beaten Kayleen Maderos even with a full training camp, but, you know, it probably would have made, it would have made the fight a little bit more interesting because, you know, you got to hurry up and cut weight real rapidly, and that's what a lot of casuals don't get. When you have to, you know, go into camp and you got to cut weight, okay, you got to cut it as rapidly as possible, then it's difficult. It's really difficult to go in and fight, man. I mean, you, you it's almost like your body is drained. And you're trying to force your body to actually get in there and fight. You know, and I'm going to tell you what was, was really irritating me. You know, Invicta, they didn't see anything that Kayleen Madero's did right. They didn't, they saw nothing. They didn't see the fact that, you know, she kept getting out of these, you know, her takedown defenses were pretty good. You know, until she got caught and then uh, Mackenzie Dern actually put that arm bar on. They ain't talking about nothing that Madero's did right. And that does bother me because it seemed like, you know, every single fight, people never talk about what the person losing you know, they don't talk about what they're doing. And, you know, they don't talk about the fight that, you know, the fact that Mackenzie Dern also has bad head movement and she get pieces up. She get pieced up to death. Nobody talks about what the other person's doing to her. And that that's that's troubling because, you know, to me, it just seems like that they're going to hype this girl up. But nonetheless, you know, some of her striking, it's improved, okay? I, I got to come on here and tell you that. You know, her overhand, she did a good overhand right. You know, still, I want to see her do more head movement. But as she evolves and gets better, I think that that's going to be in her game. And I think the striking is going to be something that she's better at. I don't think it's ever going to be something that she's, like, phenomenal. Because it's it's like, you know, wrestlers, BJJ practitioners, their, their bodies are just not used to just the form of striking. And it's just something that's always uncomfortable. It's, it's always going to be uncomfortable, but at least she'll be able to get it at a level to where, you know, she'll be able to use it to be effective. So at least, you know, Mackenzie will have a plan B to go to in case plan A taking you down don't get it, okay? And I think she is going to get better as a stri striker. I think she is going to evolve, okay? I think she is. Um, and I think her management team, they're doing the right thing by making this girl fight opponents who... They're not as threatening because you know Madero's. I didn't. I didn't think she was that like that great of an opponent. But for the level that Mackenzie Dern is on, that's a good opponent. Okay, because Madero's in every big fight that she's had, you know, she's pretty much lost those fights. Okay, and I can sit back and I can tell you some of the opponents. I mean, it's it's, it's simple. Like she fought, um, you know, she fought people like Angela Hill. She fought Chelsea Bailey, who. You know, Chelsea Bailey now, that's somebody who, you know, I think is tough. And I think she's underrated. You know, she fought um, she fought Peggy Morgan. And all these fights, you know, that she's fought, it's like she can't win any of them. Like, those are tough opponents. And, you know, yeah, the girl has fought tough fights, but she ain't winning them. You know, see, that's the difference. You got to look at stuff in that aspect, too. I think that the, her Mackenzie Dern's team, they were very careful in selecting an opponent. They were very, very careful. And um, they wanted to get somebody who had some experience, but they didn't want to have somebody who was racking up the wins against some of these experienced people. 
you know, they wanted to get somebody who's been in that that octagon with some with some people with experience, but not winning. And I think it was a smart move, very smart move. And I think Heather Hardy team, I think they need to really look at what Mackenzie Dern team doing. I think they need to, because some point in time, you know, yeah, you know, I'm still not convinced, but you know, come on, the Dern girl just started striking, you know, not even that long ago. Okay, I mean, really, Mackenzie Dern hadn't been striking that long. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to see how this play out. I'm going to see how it play out. And I'm going to see when they finally match Mackenzie Dern up with somebody who, you know, definitely, they ain't going down. You ain't going to be able to submit them. Them kind of fighters. Because Mackenzie Dern also, too, she always has a size advantage over her opponents. And she had a size advantage over this girl, too. So, it is what it is, guys. You guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the Best Women's MMA platform on YouTube.